Think Tech Hawaii. Civil engagement lives here. It's Tuesday morning here on FinTech Hawaii, and we're back, we're live. We are excited to be young talents making way. We talk about things that matters to Hawaii, to our future, to our people, with the students of our school across, across the island and the islands as well. So it's my pleasure to introduce you today to Cindy So from Hi. Mililani High School. Hi, Cindy. Hi. Nice to have you here. Nice to be here. And, 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 and you're gonna talk about um, you, um, you're, uh, you, you are a, a finalist at the State of Hawaii Science and Engineering Fair. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to talk about um, uh, water, uh, wastewater treatments, uh, algae bioremediation, how we can yeah. reduce the impact on these things. Mm -hmm. yeah, so I'm, I'm excited to learn. This is something that uh, uh, not many people are aware, you know, yeah, if you want. Yeah, it's very important. And, and, um, and today, it's my pleasure to welcome a big audience here in our studio uh, in downtown Honolulu. We have um, your mom and your, your little brother, <laughs> yeah. Tony. We have your physics teacher, um, Tyson Kikugawa, who has been an incredible job for allowing this, this, this conversation with yeah. you today. And I believe there is also your chemistry teacher. Mm -hmm. So, hello, hello everyone, nice to have you here on FinTech. Um, so Cindy, um, tell us a little bit um, about uh, what you do at, at uh, Mililani High School, and if you want uh, the importance of having uh, our water in our cities uh, treated and purified. Yeah, um, water is definitely a really important issue. Um, water degradation is becoming a more prevalent issue and in today's society, um, in, in today's wastewater treatments, especially in third world countries where they do not have an access to um, adequate clean water or they do not have an access to um, proper wastewater treatment facilities. and. Looking into this issue, I was also aware of our today's um, energy problem. We're relying a lot on um, non-renewable sources of energy, such as fossil fuels and coal. And yeah. you know, one day they'll eventually run out. So my experiment focuses on the en uh, energy and environmental issues. And it uses algae to actually clean the water and to provide uh, biofuels to solve those problems. So this is a double, it has a double impact, your, your, your project, if you want. It purifies the water and it produces energy. Yeah, so when I, so I've been involved with algae since last year, and I was already, um, I kind of understand what algae does. And this year, I researched more into algae, and what um, because I knew that it can grow in uh, virtually any environment, like wastewater, uh, like <clears throat> salt water, brackish water. I was surprised to find out that algae can actually bury me the water, meaning that it can remove all these nutrients at the same time use those nutrients to grow. So. Um I, I, I believe uh, um, not many people are aware with what happens uh, when after the water goes, you know, it drains in our sinks uh, or, uh, you know, the, the, the washer, washers yeah. uh, or, you know, toilets as well. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I believe we have a, a slide where we can go over different treatments. Uh, we have a primary treatment that this water needs to be uh, you know, done in secondary and third, uh, I believe, oh, here it is, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Can you so describe a little bit about what happens after the water goes into the drains? So we have primary and secondary treatment, which removes um, like the settleable solids. And what I was focusing on uh, in my project is tertiary treatment, because um, our current, right now our current wastewater treatment processes uses um, chemicals to remove the, the nutrients from the wastewater. And what, that's what tertiary treatment does. However, um, algae can do the same jobs. Um, it can remove those nutrients and use that to produce biofuels. So basically, this water, um, first we remove uh, the big particles, yeah. if you want. Then uh, we, we try and purify a little bit better, and uh, with microorganisms mm -hmm. who remove organic matter. And the tertiary treatment, that's, that's the one you're focusing on your research. Yeah, and it's yeah. a very important step of the treatment because we do not want those nutrients to be in our wastewater. Um, if you can go to that next slide where it shows like the rivers and the... Let's see the water cycle. 
<laughs> um, oh, so, wow, look at that. <laughs> um, another problem that we have in our current uh, treatments is that if we don't remove those uh, nutrients from the wastewater properly, they actually cause eutrophication, which is an excess. What, what is it? Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's a high uh, excess nutrients in the water, and it, ca it can cause as many, uh, it can cause many uh, negative effects to our environment. So, so in Hawaii, why, uh, we have corals, for example, would that have an impact on the corals and the ecosystems of our reefs? And the yeah, definitely. Um, an excess nutrients in our ponds and our lakes. Or lakes and as well, And sometimes it gets in our oceans. Um, it's not good for the environment because it offsets the balance. So that's a very important step of the treatment to... So if you want, in, in this water cycle which we showed, so the rain, it goes, you know, surface runoff, it goes into the water and then evaporates or again, plants also um, transpire again as well. This is, the, this is what happens in nature. We people take the water because for our cities uh, yeah. we need to use it. And so um, basically, uh, can we say that uh, the water treatments that we do to purify the water is sort of a quicker view of that cycle, the, the, the natural cycle, if you want? Yeah, um, our water treatment, so the primary and secondary treatment like takes, out, takes away the solids and the tertiary treatment takes away the nutrients. So that's kind of, definitely kind of like a faster way of cleaning the water. That's very interesting. But, um, mm. One issue with that is that it's very costly and it uses chemicals that um, yeah, that's... To treat the water. And the it also causes secondary pollution, which is... Um, oh! Yeah, so it causes many other side effects that we don't want. The, the, the secondary pollution in the tertiary part of the treatment, what, uh, what does it consist in? It's basically the eutrophication that, we're, that you were talking about, or is there anything else that we have, need to be aware of? Um, the se secondary uh, pollution is having too much nutrients in um, discharge into in the, the, yeah, yeah, okay. in the environment. And those nutrients are often not used. They can be used, but because um, we're not utilizing them, they're not being used. So it's, it's polluting the environment that way. And so we remind our guests, uh, our um, audience, that you are a junior in high school at Mililani High School, and you are a finalist uh, in the state fair. So uh, given this uh, um, picture that we made with the water treatments, uh, uh, it's particularly important in the world and here on Oahu, your project focuses uh, on trying and, uh, if you want, use this algae for what? Then? So, by, so algae, um, as I said before, it can bioremediate the water. So I thought, what if I put the algae in wastewater? Because algae can grow um, in like any, virtually any environment. So what if I put those algae in wastewater and utilize that system to replace our current tertiary treatments at the same Which time? Which produces pollution, we said. Yeah. yeah. And your method, the method you are proposing uh, as part of your uh, competition at the state fair, also produces energy. Mm -hmm. Also produces algal biofuels, which are very, very useful for lots of other things. Mm. So, uh, for as part of your um, project, your science project, did you visit uh, any uh, power plant uh, here on the island? Yeah, so I was uh, lucky enough to get in contact with the American Waterworks at Hawaii Kai. Oh, and okay. they were really nice. They showed me around their wastewater treatment plant, and I was able to learn so much about um, how my system, if um, it can be implemented into our current um, systems that we already have. Uh, and I believe we have a picture of yeah. your um, visiting this power, uh, this uh, water treatment station. And oh, okay, here yeah. it is. Yeah. So that's me, and he's walking me through all the different state, the different treatment systems. He is uh, responsible for the the, the water treatment plants yes, there. Yes, uh, Mr. Lee. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 So I guess this is particularly important for you to have a look at the real plant because. Um, 
So how did you, um, did you make experiments did you, to, to test your hypothesis? Yeah, so I wanted to test whether, um, so one, one issue that I look into this um, system is that excess light, even though light is very essential for the growth of the algae, excess light can result in problems such as radiation damage and toxic stress. So what I tested is that if I were to synthesize these silver metal nanoparticles, which can filter, kind of filter the light at a specific wavelength, would it improve the algae's rate of growth? And what are these uh, silver nanoparticles for, for those who are not into the water business? <laughs> so silver nanoparticles, um, they have this optical property, um, localized surface plasma resonance. and one is able to tune the shape and the size of these silver nanoparticles so that it only oscillates at a specific wavelength of light. So it only allows um, a, specific, like a certain wavelength of light to pass through. So uh, basically, we want to select the, the range of wavelength, the, the range of light, so that the growth of the algae is optimal. Yeah. Okay. So uh, algae's chlorophyll A um, likes light. Um, a, like the spectrum between 400, 400, 300 to 500, around that Zoom range. B? I'm chlorophyll A. Okay. Yeah. So what I aim to do is that I synthesize these silver metal nanoparticles so that it only allows light to absorb, it only allows light to pass through at 400 nanometers. How did you find out about these specific wavelengths? And we're looking at some of your um, experiments here. So there has been many research that tests the, that tests the optimal um, wavelength of absorption for chlorophyll A, and that, that was why um, I decided to focus on synthesizing my nanoparticles around 400 nanometers. Mm. And if you can see in that picture, um, inside- this, We're looking at, there are basically yeah. uh, containers, if you want, fill, glass containers filled with the uh, different yeah. solutions, I guess? Yeah. What, what so are they? We have a flask, and inside the flask is my growing algal solutions. Mm. And around the flask, we have beakers. And outside the flask, inside the beakers, we have these silver nanoparticles. And what that does is that when light passes through, it has to go through these silver uh, metal nanoparticles, and it has to, and it, by doing that, it can kind of filter the, act as a nanofilter to filter the light at the wavelength that the algae wants. That you need for allowing them to grow. Yeah. And the, um, to carry out these experiments you are describing here for uh, purifying water, um, uh, did you have to build your own set of experiments, or you bought these flasks, or how did you? How did you actually? Uh, if I were to repeat the same kind of experiments which you carried out, how would we? Would, we, would I do it? Um, so the first thing I did in my experiment it was to build a photobioreactor because I need a place. What is that? A fuel? A photobioreactor. Photobioreactor. What, yes. what is it? <laughs> um, I have a picture. On oh, okay. My, yes, that one. Oh, this one. Um, that was oh, that's in what the, it is. Wow. Yeah, this was in the beginning stages of my, my experiment. Um, I had an air pump in the back that delivers air to each of the algae samples. And, um, oh, yeah, because the algae needs the air to, yeah. to thrive as well. Yeah, yeah I also okay. have the light on the top that... Oh, the two yeah. black... Uh, um, yep. These are the lights which are, you know, enlightening yeah. the, 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 the samples. Okay, yeah. So I on the top, I have these... Um, so it's important to control the air to make sure that you're not giving too much on to one bottle or to another. So I have these knobs on the top, the air Right. That can control the... The amount of air that algae is the receiving. amount of air that they get. Yeah. So yeah, um, it's important. The first step of the experiment is important to test out your photobioreactor system because um, you want it to have an optimal environment for the algae to grow. For the algae to grow. Yeah. So um, we are talking here in FinTech Hawaii with Cindy So from Mililani High School. She's a finalist at this year state fair. So ho ho ho. <laughs> And we're going to be back, we're going to take a break, and we're going to um, talk about more about how we can purify water with Cindy here on FinTech Hawaii at Young Talents Making Way. We'll be back.
Hey, how come he gets to go in? He's a service dog. Well, I could get a vest too. You're not even a service dog. He's trained to assist his owner. Well, I can do whatever he can do. Wow, did he just open the door? Yep. Oh, I can't do that. I can't do that either. He's trained for over two years to become a service dog. Man, I wish I could be a service dog. And we're back, we're live, we're young talents making way here on FinTech Hawaii. And we're talking about uh, um, wastewater purifying water here on the islands with Cindy from Mililani High School. Uh, welcome back. Thank you. We have a big audience today. All your relatives yeah. and teachers are here, so pretty excited <laughs> today. Uh, so we talked about in the first part that how uh, after the water goes into the, the, the all this uh, maze of tubes underground, it needs to be purified. That's very important. We talked about how this happens. We talked about uh, your, uh, if you want, uh, uh, contribution uh, regarding the tertiary stage of water treatments. Uh, you're using algae to um, uh, basically purify this water to in the final stage. And so uh, you mentioned that uh, by doing this, uh, not only you are removing the chemicals that would have otherwise to you be used for this purpose but you are also producing energy yeah so how does that work yeah so why i like fell in love with um doing algae is because even last year i did my project on saltwater algae and to conserve freshwater and algae is such a great alternative to um, our current energy processes and environmental um, processes is because it's very, it's, it's great, it's cheap, it's um, fast growing, it can... How fast can they grow? Um, you, 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 you grew algae as part of your... Uh... Yeah, um, in two weeks it was able, my algae was able to grow in the, maximum, in the maximum amount of biomass, and it was able to remove almost all of the, the nutrients in the wastewater. So it grows really fast. So say for example we had a big um, water treatment plant, then the water uh, comes in after the first and secondary treatments. Mm -hmm. And then basically in two weeks, uh, we would be able to yeah. uh, grow all this algae to the maximum biomass extent. And then uh, the water gets purified because of the algae. Yeah, it, I think it can even grow faster in wastewater, which has, is very, very high in nutrients. And you know, in your pools and nobody wants algae, it grows really fast. And once you get rid of it, it grows right back. And uh, um, what about the energy part then? Um, so after the algae grows in these wastewater tanks yeah. for about two weeks, um, they can be filtered out of the wastewater and they can be, um, the oil from the algae can be extracted from the, al the algal biomass oh, after okay. you take out all the water. So. so basically the water, if you want, after it is purified by the algae, can get back into the nature, yes. you know, can be discharged, yeah. and then uh, uh, the algae are used for energy. Yeah, and the water comes, comes back cleaner. It and comes then, back into the cycle and, uh, yeah. oh, this is, this is exciting, see, this is, uh, and uh, um, so basically um, you implemented this, if you want, using small flasks, mm -hmm. you know, experiments and everything. Um, you visited the, the, the water treatment plant in Hawaii Kai, how could you basically implement uh, this experiment on a wider, on a big, you know, uh, scenario, if you, with a big plant, if you want? Yeah, so that's um, definitely one of the things I was looking into. Um, I believe my algae system can be easily implemented into our current tertiary pr process systems. Um, really, all you need is to have an algae filtering system. Once the algae does its job, once it um, removes all the nutrients, then you have to filter it out again. And then That's what you, you did uh, at the end of the, of the experiment. Yeah. You, you filtered the algae as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so where are the, the, the water plants? Uh, or no, uh, do you know how many are they? Uh, in Hawaii? In Hawaii. I'm not sure. I, I think there's... There's one, the one I went to was in Hawaii Kai, there's one in Iwa Beach. 
Saint Island, one. maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Hala uh, Ui Ui. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, we, and this is basically. Um, it's a, it's a concern if you want for the mm -hmm. you know having this this uh, this water um, really purified. Yeah. yeah. Um, so now uh, next week I believe we have uh, the state fair, and you yeah. are a finalist. So you're gonna yeah. be. Uh, what what's gonna are, are you gonna uh, represent Mililani High School? Yes, I'm very excited to present my project. You know, science fair has always been something I'm, I look forward to in a year because it's very fun to present your project and all your hard work and yeah so how long uh, we talked a little bit about you know uh, what you did for this project with testing uh, this water treatment with algae but how long did it take for you to come up with this original idea and then in uh, built your bioreactor and then eventually get to the the point where you got results and you tested this hypothesis um, the thinking process came Sorry, last year actually. Uh, last oh. year, after I finished uh, presenting my project on wastewater algae, I got so much feedback on, on you know what I can do. You to... mentioned your chemistry teacher who is here. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> and then I got a lot of feedback on um, what, how I can improve my uh, my system. And what people mentioned is that algae why not just grow in wastewater? You know, wastewater and wastewater can bring in all the nutrients. So the after I got that uh, feedback and I researched into it, that was when I found that algae can also bar me the water, and that's how I started designing um, my system, my photobioreactor system, and I started testing testing what effect nanoparticles have on my system. So it's a full year-round process. Wow. Yeah. And so now, next week, you're going to see the, 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 the fruits of all this, uh, <laughs> you know, this hard work. Oh, that, that's very exciting. Yeah, yeah, Thank yeah. You. yeah. Um, so now uh, we mentioned uh, um, that you are a junior at Mililani High School. Um, what is uh, basically uh, um, what do you um, you are studying uh, biology, chemistry? I guess what are the subjects that most uh, interested? I mean, I guess the question might be how did you get um, involved with algae and water and remediation. Uh, how did you get interested in, in this uh, at Mililani High School? So I love biology and chemistry because it's re really relevant to our everyday lives. Are they your favorite subject? Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> you can also, and then these two sciences, they can answer questions um, around the world, um, around our world. And how I got involved with algae and with science fair is that in freshman year, I, I entered into the science fair and I, w I was like blown away by how much I enjoyed doing my the experiments because one great thing about science fair is that you can really, a lot of people you know, use Google to answer your own questions, but with science fair, you can answer your own questions that you never even thought you had. You can answer questions that nobody thought they had until you answered it. So. With basically science, you can answer yeah. questions and everything. That's, 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 that's wonderful. That's wonderful. Yeah. And uh, um, if I um, may ask, you know, you're, you're, you're still young, but what's uh, beyond? What's, uh, how do you see yourself in, uh, you know, after high school or maybe are you thinking of going to college or uh, mm -hmm. what, what, what is your view uh, for the future? Maybe even if you are. Uh, if you're going to be, you know, still working on algae and biology since this is what you love. Mm -hmm. It's definitely science um, research. I love working in the laboratory. Mm. And, yeah, I'm still looking to, like, different areas where I can uh, maybe medical, maybe biomedical. And it's very cool to see how, you know, different areas of science, like, really just come together. So Ultimately. I'm looking for my interests. And so uh, you're, you're planning on attending college uh, in Hawaii or? Uh, um, I'm planning on going to college on the mainland. On the mainland? Yeah. But are you coming back? <laughs> For sure. <laughs> Always. We need, we, we need yeah. uh, bright talents here in Hawaii. And you certainly are, Cindy, Cindy. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. So uh, here at Young Talents Making Way, we had uh, Cindy So from Mililani High School, a big audience of teachers and family. 
And so thank you very much for walking us through the understanding of uh, how water gets treated in our cities, how we get purified water, as well as how we can, um, you know, um, diminish, if you want, the impact, if you want. We don't want to produce additional yeah. uh, pollution to, to, to uh, clean our water. So thank you very much, you. Cindy. Uh, you've been watching uh, Young Talents Making Way here on FinTech Hawaii on a Tuesday morning. And we're going to have more bright students in the future and also from Mililani High School. Stay tuned.